We are live. We are live on a Friday, Saturday night. <laughs> okay, let's see if we can adjust this at all. I've had lots of requests for like nighttime content, so I figured I'd just um, go live. It's like 8 p.m. Winston and I are um, normally in bed early. There he is. So, hey everybody, come join me for Saturday night. Oh, it's Saturday Night Live. It's not really, but um, this is my first time doing a live at night in the van. Hey, hey Denise. So I've had. Let's see. Let's see if we can mess with the light or if it's going to be fine. Actually, I think it's fine over there. We'll leave it over there. Um, like this video if you're tuning in. I appreciate you guys. So, I'm just like getting ready for bed in my minivan. Um, thanks for being here with me. It's Saturday night. It's 8 p.m. in Arizona. So, this is what we're doing. Winston is right here in his spot he's done for the night yeah so nice and cozy so um so you guys i have you set up like on my in my trunk area on my on that little like nightstand hi be sure to like this video if you guys are tuning in thank you so much for being here with me at 8 p.m on a saturday I appreciate you guys. So this is what it looks like when I'm hanging out in my van. Look at all this space I have. So I hope that you guys can hear me okay. Um, so this is what I do in my van at night. So I have my orthopedic back pillow, which of course is in the description of all my videos. That's what I have it listed as too, is my orthopedic ba back pillow. It was warm out today, so it's actually like, t you know, nice out so I don't need a jacket or blankets or anything like that ah thank you so much um yeah Winston is absolutely done um for the night you guys he's done look at my son he's so perfect look at him he, he, so, I, oh, I have to tell, I have to tell you guys, I have to tell you guys the story. So, and you know, can, can you guys hear me okay? So, okay. Can you guys hear me okay from here? Can I get some like, yes, I can hear you or no, you're quiet. Give me some positive feedback. Can you hear me when I'm sitting from here? Um, please let me know if you can, or if I'm quiet and I need to move you forward. <sighs> Yeah, he is cozy. You can hear me? Okay, great. Thank you so much. I appreciate the feedback. Um, so I arrived at this camp spot on Thursday. Thank you so much. Thank you, everybody. Um, I arrived at the spot on Thursday. I was actually planning on staying an additional night in Camp Verde. I ended up not doing that. And also, I apologize for my light, but that's like the best way you guys can see me. So I hope it's not blinding you, but... We're in a minivan, so, um, also I have to, yeah, we're in Arizona, hey, good, thank you so much, uh, great, Ginger Gypsy, thank you, yeah, I have to kind of move forward to see what your comments are, but, so, I just want to tell you this quick fun story, so, we showed up on Thursday, and, um, the first day, if you've been watching my videos, my van was, like, flipped around, that doesn't really matter to the story, but, we were sitting outside because we're, I'm always outside. That's one of the reasons why um, I opt for the minivan. I, I don't really need to stand up because I'm outside so much. So Winston and I are always outside. And there was this little robin. And I love robins. Um, one of my earliest childhood memories living in Toledo, Ohio, was all of the robins in our yard. So, so there was this little robin. And it was taunting Winston. It was like, doot, doot, doot. and then, 
and then it would like fly away and then he'd like go toward it and it would like doo, doo, doo. and I swear they were playing that same Robin has come back yesterday it it came back today it came back and it was like playing with Winston it was so fascinating like this little Robin it was so cute so he's exhausted um, thank you so much for tuning in everybody. Wow. 23 of you. I appreciate you guys. Um, don't mind my toilet. It's fine. Everything's fine. Um, I did cut my hair. Yes. Thank you for noticing. There's my son. Yeah, well, my mom, <laughs> my mom cut my hair, um, because I'm cheap. I mean, it, like if we're being 1000% honest, I'm on a budget, you guys. And I don't really want to spend like $30 for a haircut when I just needed like five inches off. Um, so my mom just cut it for me. She's an RN, so I trust her. I trust her with my life, so I trust her with my hair. But thank you for the compliment. So we've been having a lot of fun. Today, we checked out this bar. Um, we went, went with our friends. And we, we checked out this bar called... Baracho Saloon. Baracho Saloon. And yes, cheap is good because I'm on a writer's budget, you guys. <laughs> so cheap is good. So um Baracho Saloon, it is amazing. We had carne fries, which were so tasty. I always get something I can share with Winston because he deserves it for everything I drag him around to do with me. So we went and we had some beers and the beers were so cheap. So that was fun. So we did like kind of like a, um, we went around one o'clock when they opened and it was, you know, it was busy, lots of people. It was fun. Um, but I love checking out dog friendly restaurants. It's like one of my favorite things. So we went there. I give them five stars, absolutely. Um, but I'll share more about that in a video. But yeah, so today we went to the Baracho Saloon. We spent like three hours there. Um, Winston loved it. He was happy. But he also enjoyed the carne fries. I think I bit my lip. Ouch. Eh. So, there's a bug on my light. Eh. So what's everybody else up to? Tell me where you're tuning in from. Um, I'm excited. Two years, two years since it, I know, dude. Ginger Gypsy, I think it was like two years for me too. Not a haircut since big. Yeah, you guys. I I think it was before COVID for me too, haircut wise. Um, so my hair. Let me tell you a little story. <sighs> And I haven't told you guys this yet, so I'm going to tell you right now. But I need to pop a beer for this story. Because it's a life-changing story, and it's one of the things that led me to be a nomad. And it has to do with my hair. Okay. Are you guys ready for a story? Can you... Can you give me like a thumbs up if you're ready for a super dramatic story? Because this is dramatic. And this is one of the things that led me to van life. Hey, welcome. Oh, Cal Ooh, my gosh. Canada, South Carolina. You guys, welcome. Thank you so much for being here. I'm excited. I'm excited about doing this kind of like late night live. This is fun. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Texas. We love Texas. Washington. Awesome. Thank you, guys. Cool. Okay. I love you guys so much. Oh my gosh, you guys, you guys make me so happy. This is fun. I like doing this Saturday night thing. Do you guys like this? I like this. This is fun. Um, wow, you guys are awesome. Yeah. Oh, North Cali. Okay. Nice weather there, huh? Wineries, grapes. All right, Amanda. So let me take a sip of my beer. Sorry. Like this video. Wait, like this video if you haven't yet while I sip my beer. Hold on. Amanda, calm down. I'm so I'm so excited that you guys are here with me for story time. This is awesome. I have played the game World of Warcraft for 17 years. 
And I met my ex-husband on the game of World of Warcraft. We started living together in 2013. Um, a week after we moved in together, I got super, super ill. I got so sick. I, got, I was so sick that I was in the bathroom for eight hours. And my boyfriend at the time, who ended up being my husband, was in San Diego uh, with his family finishing up things because he was moving the rest of his stuff to Arizona. I was on the toilet for eight hours that night. And I was like, let me make sure. Yeah, virtual beer. Hell yeah. Yes, my friend. Welcome. Thank you. I appreciate you. Um, I was so sick. I... The next morning, as soon, I was calling my boyfriend all night, like something's wrong with me. I'm sick. I'm sick. I'm sick. Something's going on with me. Like I'm not normal. Like what is going on with me? I was on the toilet for eight hours. I called my mom the next morning because my mom is an RN and I was like, mom, something's wrong with me. I'm not normal. She came over to my house immediately. She took my vitals and she's like, you need to get into urgent care. I don't know what's going on with you, but something is wrong. So long story short, within the next four weeks, my kidneys started failing. And at that time I was, I was 24, 25 years old. And at that time my kidneys started failing and they could not figure out why, like what was wrong with me? Like I had always been healthy, like and my hair started to fall out over the neck, the course of the next six months. So I was in and out of the hospital from the time I was 25 until the time I was 27. So like two, two and a half years, I was in and out of the hospital with, I was hospitalized with severe kidney infections and my kidneys were just not functioning properly. They, they couldn't, they didn't know like, you know, what was going on. Um, and so it turns out I was diagnosed at that time. Well, I was diagnosed two and a half years later because it took doctors two and a half years to figure out what was going on with me. Two and a half years. I spent my late twenties in the hospital. My hair was falling out. I was sick all the time. It was awful. Um, turns out I have Hashimoto's disease and hypothyroidism. So that's why I started to lose all my hair. So Ever since I was about 27, I've been growing my hair out. And now at 33, I'm happy to say that I have now donated 12 inches of my hair twice to organizations for children with cancer. So it, it, my hair is like, it's such a story because it, it's, I used to have short hair. Like I used to actually have a mohawk. <laughs> I had a mohawk. I had half a shaved head at one point. Um, I've done crazy stuff with my hair, but I keep it long now because I'm so grateful for the fact that I can grow hair after I lost all of mine. And I'm also so grateful that I was able to donate 12 inches twice um, over the course of the last four years. So my hair grows so fast. Um, and now, now, but now I'm super healthy. And now that I've been on the road the last two years, I've never been healthier. So my hair grows super long and super thick. And I'm last, last week when I was at my mom's for mother's day, I was like, can you cut my hair mom? <laughs> and she was like, hell yeah. So hi, what's wrong? You good? Okay. Am I annoying you? Hi, what's up? Are you thirsty? Okay, here. Do you need to potty? Hi, help help me understand what what do you need to go potty or are you you do? Or are you just thirsty? You just want to hang out with mom? Come here. You just want to hang out with mom? Okay, help me understand what you're looking for. Okay, you just want to get cozy there? Okay. Am I annoying you? Am I loud? 
Sorry. All right, I'm annoying my child. Um, yeah, so, um, yeah, it's definitely tough, but I, but I appreciate the compliments on my hair. I, I actually texted my mom yesterday and I said, mom, thank you again for cutting my hair. <laughs> I appreciate you when she was, um, back at work. So yeah, no, he is wondering who, who I'm talking to. He's like, what? He's so dirty. Let me, let me, um, show you guys here. Oh, kid. Look, so look at, we got 50 shades of dirt here, ladies. <gasps> Tony! Hey! Uh, Tony, you're one of my faves. I appreciate you, Tony. Thanks for being here. Look at the, look at this 50 shades of dirt. It's like, it's dirt. Oh. <sighs> wow, what a dirty boy. Oh, we got to turn on our lights. So this is my little, um, flower lights here. My little... Hold on, don't judge me. Uh, well, well, oh, this, you guys. <sighs> okay. I'm trying to show you my flowers, and these are, these are the things that happen. I'm just trying to turn on my lights to show you guys. Here we go. All right. So, it's funny. I'm camping with Eddie. I point like he, like you can see him. He's his trailer is outside my van. Um, I'm camping with Eddie. We met in Quartzite last year, 2021. We've camped together in Flagstaff, like Havasu and Quartzite, um, and we're back together again in Flagstaff this season or this year. Um, and I got this mason jar with him, which is funny because we went to the Toasted Owl here in, in uh, Flagstaff, Arizona, and it's one place that I've actually taken my mom because it's so delicious, highly recommend. And if you get the $5 owl mason jar, you get endless mimosas. And who doesn't love endless mimosas? Okay, kid, stop judging me. I'm really trying, I'm really trying here, you know? All right. Okay, my thing, my, it's back intact. Everything's, everything's good. Everything's fine. Everything's fine. Everything's good. All right. You guys, don't judge me. I'm just, I'm really trying to have a fun night with you. You got 33 of you in here? Okay. Starting a fan club. So where's everybody tuning in from? What's the weather like? Where are you? Are you in sticks and bricks? Are you in a rig? Tell me about it. Are you having a drink? Are you not? Tell me what you guys are up to. I'm in my minivan camper. Um, thank you for tuning in. Please like this video if you haven't yet. I've had lots of requests for nighttime action. And so here I am live on a Saturday hanging out with you guys. Um, I just want to say that me and none of y'all have lives because here we are together on YouTube. Just saying. Not judging y'all. But here we are together on Saturday night on YouTube. Mm. Okay, let me just focus, ADHD. Uh, Cheney, Washington, cold and, and windy. Nope, that's going to be a pass from me. Um, eat it, ooh, 16 foot trailer. That's a nice size. I like 16 foot trailer. Eating dinner in your rig. What's for dinner? Um, yeah. Oh, Douglas, Arizona. Okay, great. Six and bricks. Awesome. Elderly parents to take care of. Good, good for you, though. Bless your heart. Absolutely. I, 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 I understand. <laughs> So thank you for um, tuning in and being here with me. 82 here today. Uh, um, uh, yeah, Claudia, 84 or 85 here today. Definitely a little bit toasty for sure. New Mexico, very, yep, windy here as well in Arizona. Um, Alicia. Uh, it's been over 100. West Texas. 
tell me we're at in West Texas. I love West Texas. I've accumulated to go full time at Grand Grand Caravan in September. You're gonna get it. I didn't tell you guys. Wait, did I tell you guys? Did I tell you guys I'm house sitting in Minnesota for 10 days in July? Did I tell you guys that yet? What? Chili. Y'all, let me tell let me tell you the temperature right now. Okay. Oh my god, I have so many things I want to talk about now that you guys are here and we're live and we're hanging out together. Charcuterie board! Get it! Charcuterie board. We love charcuterie boards in here. Yes, we do. We love that cheese. We love that meat, those crackers. Yes. I'm on one tonight. <laughs> I'm on one tonight, you guys. Uh, Odessa, okay. Belmont, okay. GMC Suburban, uh, full time in a GMC Suburban. That's a that's a good, 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 good vehicle um, to be full time in is a Suburban. Um, okay, Amanda, focus. I have bad ADHD, you guys, and as you can see, it's worse sometimes than others. Um. So my mom gave me this. It's just a sorry, but I know I'm I'm really disturbing my son and he's not happy. It's a Bluetooth speaker. So my mom is amazing and she is um 61 and she's running a triathlon <laughs> this year because she's crazy. Um so anyway, she got this free Bluetooth speaker because of the things she's doing, and she gave it to me and it matches my van and she's happy. Yes, Sarah. Thank you. Thank you, Sarah. Um, Space Ghost, good evening, honey. Hi, how are you? I'm good. Thank you so much for asking. Um, the trip. Okay. Thank you, Sarah, for focusing me. So July 6th, Winston and I leave Arizona. We are headed to, <clears throat> excuse me, Northfield, Minnesota. We will be house sitting from the 13th to the from the 13th to the 24th. So we will be driving from the 6th to the 12th. It only would take me I mean I could push it, but I, I like to give myself extra time when I have a long distance destination that I'm planning on getting to. Um, same thing was the case with me and my very first long distance road trip that I did to Miami Beach in 2020 with Winston in my very first van. Um, I give myself extra time. This is why I give myself extra time. I want to break it down for you guys because I, I'm leaving on July 6th, but I'm giving myself, I give myself a weather day, a I don't feel good day and I am too lazy to do literally anything in this life existence day. So it would really only take me, you know, three to four days to get to Minnesota if I pushed it, but I like to give myself time. Oh, thank you so much, Sarah. Oh, super chat. Get it, get it, get it, get it. Woo. Winston, you're judgy of me tonight. Cheers, Sarah, honey. Love you bunches. Ooh, that tastes good. So, I'm giving myself July 6th um, until the 13th when I have to house it. Now, my birthday is on July 22nd. Some of you guys might remember... Um, Tony, if you're here, you probably remember I was with my grandma for my birthday last year in Minnesota because I drove there. I'm doing the same road trip, but I'm taking a different route. Okay. I talk a lot with my hands. Um, I'm taking a different route. So I'll be going really directly to Minnesota. Get there on the 13th. I'm going to spend the 22nd with my grandma. I house it to the 24th and then I'm going to spend like three or four days with my grandma in Maple Grove, Minnesota. She's 85 
and she's moving into independent living, so I'm I'm going to be spending some time with her. And then I'm going to be um, spending time at my family cabin from like July, the end of July, like July 30th or so through the first week of August. Okay, so I'm going to be, so I'm going to be in Minnesota at least from July 12th until, there's a fly in here, like the first week in August, and then I'm going to make my way to South Dakota. Um, I'm, I might try and stick around Minnesota for the Minnesota State Fair to do with the family and things like that, but it really just depends on timing. The thing is, Zero Breeze just sent me that air conditioner. So they sent me this, this legit RV AC unit. It's a $1,500 AC unit. They sent it to me and it's waiting for me. Um, so I'm going to go pick that up on Tuesday. And if it works efficiently like I expect it will, that will change my van life game for the summer because I struggled with the heat in late August last year and that cut my trip short because I wanted to go to North Dakota and Montana, but it was so hot. And if it was just me, I can endure the heat, but because I have Winston, it just adds a new element of challenges because I'm always so worried about him in the heat. So my road trip will be six weeks from July 6th until I'm done doing everything I want to do in South Dakota. And, um, depending on finances, because I'm, I mean, I'm on a budget like everybody, you guys. So, and ga gas is really expensive. Um, and honestly, like I, I'm having to super budget for this trip because it's going to cost so much money just to do the driving. So what I do after South Dakota will really kind of depend on my finances. And I mean, I hate to say it, but that's just, that's just how it goes. Right. Um, so I loved South Dakota so much last year when I went that I just, I really want to spend time, more time there. So Sarah, I really appreciate this super chat. Thank you so much, honey. Over the river and through the woods to grandma's house we go. <laughs> Chuck, that's awesome. Yeah, so when did I go live? Janice, I'm live right now, currently. I'm currently live. You just commented I'm currently live. It is 8.46 p.m. Um, Pacific Standard Time. So, um, yeah, I'm live right now. Thank you for being here. Winston is um, here with me, of course. Let me, ooh, you don't want to close up on my face right now, y'all. Tell you what. Here's my son. He's a dirt boy. Are you exhausted? Wow. You're such a loaf. Oh, look at... I see his foot. Oh. Oh. What? Wow. Are you so toxic? Oh, my. Tell everybody how abused you are. Call ASPCA, everybody. Look at this neglect. Oh. Oh my. So it's been really nice out at night, so we haven't been getting under the covers. Look at these look at these feet, you guys. Look at look at this dirt. You are a dirt boat. Look at look at how he just accepts me for the crazy mom that I am. Janice, thank you so much. Winston is very content. He is so toxic. He's so content. He's so happy. He's a little dirt boy. Do you want me to leave you alone? All right. Okay, sorry. So, yes, he needs his nails trimmed. Um, yeah, his nails are tough. His nails grow so fast. 
And we just dremeled him like two weeks ago, but he needs them done again already. So, oh yeah, girl, you ain't lying. The Sarah McLaughlin ASPCA commercial, that is his theme song, tell you what. So, let, since there are 32 of you in here with me, um, let me tell you guys a little bit of history about Winston. So, I rescued Winston in 2012. Uh, February 2012 from a backyard breeder, dog hoarder, abuser. He was emaciated and near death when I rescued him. Um, it took about a year for him to really like come around and trust me and things like that. But um, in 2013, May, he won second place King Chihuahua in the Chandler, Arizona Chihuahua Festival. <laughs> he won second place King Chihuahua because I made, I hand sewed him an outfit and I got him a little sombrero and I put beads on it and everything. Anyway, so yeah, he is king. Um, and that was the proudest moment of my life, having him up on stage with me. And he won a trophy three times his size. He is... Um, he turns 11 this year. He turns 11 in September. So, he won that trophy. The next year, 2014, um, yeah, he was a puppy at that time. He was six months old. Yeah, he was six months old when I rescued him. So, um, in 2014, we started competing in agility. So, if you're not familiar with a dog agility, it's like the agility course where you go through, uh, like you go over the hurdles, you go through the weeds, you go through the, he goes through the tunnels and over the bridge and the A-frame -A and all this stuff. So, um, no, he's not geriatric. He's not geriatric. He has 10 more years. He has 10 more years. He's a chihuahua, so he's only middle-aged still. So we competed in agility. We won blue ribbons, first place ribbons, second place ribbons. We won all the ribbons. We did agility for years. Um, and through agility, he was recruited to model for PetSmart. So PetSmart is, the corporate is based out of Arizona. And he was handpicked, my son, Winston, who you see on YouTube, was handpicked by Martha Stewart to model her clothing line. And he did that for four years. And he was paid by PetSmart. He was contracted by PetSmart. So in 2007, he was all over stores with their Christmas line because he, he's modeled all holidays. He's done Star Wars photo shoots. He's done, he's been in ads. He's been in everything. Uh, from 2014 to 2019, he modeled full-time for PetSmart. So, and we just, God, we had just the best life together. But I had, uh, you know, and then in 2020, I had to retire him from all of our activities when he got mauled to near death by the neighbor dog. So, now we're just living our best lives. <laughs> Let me see what some of these comments are saying, because I, I, I can't read them from afar. 22? Heck yeah, Janice, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, I've heard of Icy Breeze, Candace, um, but, um, yeah, you know. Oh, Chuck, you're so sweet. 12-year-old Chihuahua, yeah, Winston's 11. He's so full of life, too. Like, he, even after the attack, um, when he sustained, he lost one third... Amanda, stop it. He lost one third of his skin. Like, I'm the one that has the PTSD. It's not him. So, <sighs> you're perfect, bye boys. No, 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 no. He's like, Mom, I just wish you would shut up so I can sleep. So, wow, 36 of you in here with me tonight. Thank you so much. Oh yeah, you know, I've actually I so I um that's another thing. My blog is called Dog Mom Days, dogmomdays.com. I've been a pet blogger for almost 9 years. <laughs> 
So we've gotten sponsored by endless pet sponsorships up until 2020 when he got attacked. And my, my trauma just became so real that I didn't want to do anything in the pet industry anymore because I, I was so traumatized. The dog that attacked him was just a large, I don't know what kind of dog it was. It was just a large breed dog. And unfortunately there is a legal matter at hand and I cannot discuss any more than that, but he's alive. <laughs> so when he, um, after I got divorced in 2020 and then my stepdad died and then he got attacked, I was like, I, I'm not doing any of this anymore. I'm going to go live my dream. And that's when I bought my van. So here I am two years later and we're still living our dream <laughs> and both of us are healthier than ever. Damn. That's pretty sweet. We've come a long way, huh, bub? <laughs> so, yeah. Cheers. Cheers to that. Let's talk about van life. So, at night, I'm in bed early because I'm a morning person. And, um... You guys should get a good view of how I kind of move around my van. So, um, I always make sure my mattress is good to go at night. I'm, I'm, I'm weird about it being crooked <laughs> and stuff like that. So I just make sure it's kind of fluffed up, fluffed up and, and straight. Um, like I said, this is my orthopedic back pillow. So this is on my description list for most of my videos. I have a bad um, hip which causes back pain, but this pillow has been a godsend for me. So it is, uh, when I bought it two years ago, it was $40. I'm not sure about the price now. And honestly, I might have to update the link, but it's very awesome and also has a pocket. So this is just kind of how I sit and lay at night. And then um, my fridge is right here so I can access it you know at all times oh we got another super I need to pay attention Amanda 20 your next bag of a $20 super tap for treats I'm I might cry hold on I'm not emotional, I swear. You guys are the best, thank you. D Bubba, stop looking at me, I'm not crying, I'm fine. Don't look at me. <laughs> Winston's like, look at me, because I'm getting all emotional. I pre you guys are so awesome, thank you. Okay, whew, everything's fine. Everything's good, e everything's fine. <laughs> you guys are awesome. Um. Thank you so much. That's so sweet of you. Oh. You guys make this thing so much more fun. I, you guys do. Whew. You guys, I'm so sorry. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh. I appreciate all the love you guys have for Winston. Thank you. <sighs> Winston's like looking at me because I'm because I'm crying. He's like He's like, Mom, <laughs> what is wrong with you? <laughs> yeah, he heard treats. That's right. He heard treats. Oh, you guys, I'm, I'm, oh. I did not mean to get emotional. But 
that's one of the things that uh, we do here on Adventuring with Amanda. We're honest and we're real. Even if that means crying in front of you guys. Live on YouTube. Everything's, everything's fine. My son is my life, so... Um, Yeah, I am. I love you guys so much. You guys have truly made van life um, that much more fun for us. So thank you so much for being here, everybody. Oh, okay. So, um, yeah, let me, here, let's give you treats. Uh, I know, you're so perfect and cute. Let's show everybody how perfect and cute you are. Okay. Oh, well, you don't, look at my tears. Look at my, look at my tears. <laughs> Y'all are too much. Good gracious. Okay. Son, since you're perfect and everybody loves you, let's give you some. Um, so I get Winston the bark box. I, it, did you guys see the um, video from Payson where we opened the, yeah, Mimi meme. Um, yeah, you definitely ruined my shirt. Thanks a lot. <laughs> um, uh, oh, oh, fire call. Chug, uh, you be safe too. Good gracious. Be safe, my friend. So we got this from um, bark box. <laughs> yeah, I didn't blow my nose on it, just wiped my tears on it. <laughs> and um, I like these um, treats because I can tear them up for Bubba's. Oh, you ain't lying, right? You ain't lying. I'm not a crier either. You guys are making me cry live on YouTube and I'm not even a crier. What is this? Like, I, I rarely cry. You guys are too much for me. I'll tell you what. Yeah, Tony, I was actually up at, I was up at 7 a.m. today because um, Eddie, um, who I'm camping with, I mean, we've known each other a while now, so it's like totally cool, but he started rocking my van at 7 a.m. because he thought it would be funny to wake me up that way, and boy, was he successful. I opened my door, my blankets over my face, and I'm like, oh, I'm like, oh, but he, he, he gave me, he made me coffee, so everything is fine. Were those good treats, Bubba? You also had carne fries today. What else did you have today? You also had manchego cheese. Do you remember that? You had manchego cheese, yep. Um, oh, you also had that bougie um, chicken, green bean, and sweet pea dinner that mom got you today. Do you remember that? Yeah. Mm hmm. So. Yeah. Okay, good. <sighs> All right. So, oh, thank you so much, Candace. You guys are so sweet. Oh, I love you guys. Okay, is that, uh, I might need to raise this a little bit more. Okay, so um, back to my van life <laughs> ritual. <laughs> You guys keep getting me distracted with your kindness and generosity. It's too much. Um, van life rituals. So yeah, so I, I, oh good, you guys can kind of see this view. So this is how I'm sitting. I'm laying at night. So even when I'm working on my laptop, I do that right here. What's up, son? You need to go back to your bed? Okay, want me to help you? Winston has readjusted. So I said here, so, so this is all my stuff that I use on a regular basis. Um, I keep like my, my notebooks and things down here. Um, and like my laptop and stuff. I even got like a new coloring book from the dollar store. I have my markers. 
Um, so yeah, I bought a, I, I actually bought markers, even though I have colored pencils for my coloring. So yeah, I have all that right here. Um, and then I have my tablet. So, so I just set my tablet here at night and then I can, I watch like my shows and my downloaded movies on it. And then right down here next to me is my Jackery and my Rock Pals. So if I'm needing to, and then my, well, my charger is plugged into my Jackery. So I can charge my tablet, I can charge my phone, and everything is right here within a hand's reach. And then, um, oh, <laughs> I was like looking for my phone, but you guys are on my phone. Um, yeah, so then, then I just keep my phone right here. I have ibuprofen because I'm in my 30s and sometimes I hurt. I got my brush that I hang right here. Um, and then I hang my keys right here. So I have everything I need within an arm's reach, including my fridge. And then I can sit here and use my toilet if I need. And then Winston's right here with his water. Um, so... I have my flowers and then so get ready for the and I know some of some of you guys have commented I have to read them I can't read them from here but let me just show you my light real quick okay so that little light you see right there that's my fridge light and then so it's nice and easy because it's just plugged right into my Jackery so um, so yeah so there's that so everything is nice and and I also have right here my table. So if I want to do whatever, <laughs> I can um, bust out my table and then it works as um, a lap table as well right here. So I, I really, I, I feel like I have it nice and figured out for everything that I, I need. Um, and that's why I like to share with all of you guys because I feel like I have it figured out in a very simple, you know, minimalist way. So let's check on some of these comments here because I'm blind. Um, yes, Janice, leave your crap at home. Essentials, only essentials. It is so easy to bring way too much. How do I get an internet connection? Well, I have Verizon. And right here at this spot, I literally have five bars. So, and then I have, that's why I'm live because I have five bars of Verizon where I'm camping right now. That, you know, um, like when I was in Payson, I literally had to drive into town to upload videos for you guys. So this is my little uh, mobile boost router um, from Verizon. Um, it's the Orbix speed. It boosts me, but only if there's Verizon towers around. So I just have to go where I have good Verizon service. Sarah, Sarah, Sarah. You are a good friend to me, Sarah. Thank you so much. Yeah, um, yes, Tony, Straight Talk, Ver yep. Oh, Denise, or, um, Janice, you bought a table. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Yes, oh, hello from Missouri. Great, great, great. Oh, we love Missouri. Winston and I have spent some time in Missouri for sure. So, so I use, um, so, I'm sorry, come on. What the I have one just like a bigger, yeah, so I want the bigger version. I want the bigger version of this. Um, ow! Amanda! Ouch! I need to get my shit together, guys. For real. Yeah, I, so I love Missouri. So... Um, my bachelor's degree is from Arizona State University. I My bachelor's degree is in history and culture. I am a huge history person. Which brings me to my fascination with Bonnie and Clyde. I love the Bonnie and Clyde story. 
So Winston and I have actually been to several Bonnie and Clyde locations, um, including um, in Joplin, Missouri, um, Clyde Barrow's brother, there was a shootout at the apartment. Anyways, we went there. I love doing stuff like that. So I'm, I'm a, I'm a big fan. Um, and I actually, I'm a huge fan of Missouri too. I love that part of the country though. I, I love the Midwest. Um, I grew up in Indiana. So, well, I lived in Indiana until I was 10. So, oh yeah, cool. Yeah. Joplin. I mean, we've been, well, Winston and I have been through the entire state of Missouri. I do this. <laughs> I do this like because I'm thinking about um, well we've been north through Missouri but we've also been south through Missouri through Illinois so um, I grew up in Indianapolis outside of Indianapolis in the Fishers area that's where that's where I grew up so but I've been an Arizona resident now for 23 years because I'm almost 34 so yeah and I went back I go I try and go back to Indiana once a year I was just there well I was there twice in 22 no 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 I was there in 2019 2020 last year the universe exploded and I don't know what happened so I don't know what I did last year but um oh southwest Indiana yeah okay cool um I'm a huge fan of Indiana I mean I love Indiana Indiana's my home I love the greenery I love how boring it is I love it I personally love it <laughs> oh my battery's gonna die y'all but that's why we have a Jackery 240. It's portable, yeah. It charges our phones and it charges our devices. It uses solar or it uses a 12 volt. Colts! Yes. Is my phone turning? Oh, I didn't turn it on. Now is it charging? Yes, I'm a huge Colts fan. Colts are my team. Colts are my team. Do you guys want to talk about sports? I love sports. <laughs> <laughs> oh, how about them Phoenix Suns? We have to win game seven tonight. I said, mm. or tomorrow night. No. <sighs> huge Colts fan. Quick story about that. It was 1998. I was on the school bus. And I was almost, I was in elementary school, 1998. So I was probably nine. I, <laughs> I was nine. I was on the school bus. I was three houses from my house and i don't know how i remember this i've always i think i've always been a very mindful person somehow i have such vivid childhood memories um incredible memories but i remember when peyton manning got drafted to the colts i remember that i found out on the school bus in 1999 and my heart broke when he left the colts man that sucked <laughs> So, Winston is right here. Winston's right here. Yeah, I was I was focusing on him earlier. Oh, sorry guys, sorry for the noise. My phone tripod is hitting my ceiling there. Um, I guess I could probably scoot a little bit closer too. I, uh, so let me tell you a story about Marshall Falk too. I have a story about Marshall Falk. I can't believe you mentioned his name. I haven't heard Marshall Falk's name in forever. I went to training camp. I went to Colts training camp as a kid 
and Marshall Falk wouldn't give me his autograph because he said he was only giving autographs to people who were 16 and older. That was crazy. That was crazy. So let's talk about full-time van life. Um, <clears throat> yes, I, I want to be full-time. Yes, I want to be full-time. Um, so, but you know, there's, it, it's been tough since my stepdad died because I'm super close to my mom and you know, my mom, she's still living in, um, Chandler, Arizona and, uh, my, my brother who's an army veteran, he lives at home with my mom too. And, um, oh, Sarah, you're sweet. What, what were you saying, honey? Uh, did I, I'm sorry. I think I, I think I missed, I think I missed something. What about the bus ride? The bus ride. Oh, I was in, I was in elementary school, honey. And, um, <laughs> and, um, I was on the school bus in 1998 when I learned about Peyton Manning being drafted to the Colts. That's what I was talking about. Um, yeah, so I want to be full time. Um, there, there are just lots of factors and variables. Um, Chandler Gloria is absolutely amazing. I spent from the time I was 11 until last year, I lived in the East Valley of Phoenix. So like Ahwatukee, Chandler and Gilbert. Um, I owned a home in Chandler with my ex-husband at one point. It's phenomenal. It's awesome. I mean, I love Chandler and um, I love going to hang out with my mom there. So my mom's been kind of contemplating moves for, for the last year or so um, since she's a single woman now, uh, a widow, um, like to Texas and things, but I don't know. It just, it really depends. There are so many variables on being full-time, but I, I want to be full-time, but there's, there's also something to be said for, you know, having that home base. So for example, um, I'm going to go back to the Valley for two days on Tuesday because Zero Breeze sent me my air conditioner for the van. And I also ordered a couple other things like a new knife because my knife broke when I was in Payson and um bamboo mats for my shower so like i have things that are waiting for me so that's nice i can go back to the valley see my mom get my stuff um you know and, and do all of my things and um uh see my my other animals as well um you know because jordan's there taking care of the taking care of my girls so it just depends i don't know we'll see 1997 GMC Savannah 1500. Woo! How much power unit? You okay? Let me. Um, sorry. Let me back up. For the vandal, what kind of van do you have? Nissan. Nice. Yeah, reliable minivans. It's it's a tough market right now, Gloria. I'll tell you what. Tony, you're in a town and country. Did I know that? I don't. Tony, did I know you're in a town and country? I don't think I knew that. How are that unit is going? Okay, yes, Sarah. So, uh, when Zero Breeze reached out to me about doing, hold on, I, I think I need to, I'm kind of warm. I think I just need to open my window and I don't, or my, my door. Oh yeah. Oh, that feels way better. Come on in here, cool air. Oh yeah, it's really nice. When Zero Breeze reached out to me, um, I told them, I said, uh, I don't think I have the power to run this AC unit, right? Because because it's an actual AC unit, you guys. It has the tube that goes out the window, okay? So we're talking intake and outtake. We're talking the whole shebang with the Zero Breeze air conditioning unit that I just sent me, or they sent me. I had two concerns. I'm limited on space, right? Because I'm in a minivan. My other concern was, 
Um, I, do I have the power? Well, she solved the she this representative solved my problem in, in an email with these two points. She said it'll fit on your passenger seat floor. I said, boom, I have space. She said, I'll send you the 12 volt power pack so you can power it with your van and the power stations that you have. Because I told her the max I have is 800 with that Blue Eddy I have sitting in the front passenger seat. And she was like, I got you. I was like, okay. <laughs> so, so I got, so I have the Zero Breeze air conditioning unit with the 12 volt connection. Um, it's waiting for me at the house. So I'm going to go get it on Tuesday. I'm going to do an unboxing video and then I'm going to do like a setup video because I got a, you know, it has all these components and then I'll do a review video as well. So I'm going to, since it's, uh, I'm going to be doing lots of information on this unit because I want to be very honest about it. I want to give the company honest feedback. I want all of you to know if it's worth it or not, because I will be honest. <laughs> um, so I'm, I'm, I'm excited to do that and it's going to be a warm week coming up. So I think that'll be a good opportunity to give it a, give it a fair test. So ooh, comments. No. Yeah. Yeah. The review will be really fun. Um, Sarah, I'm looking forward to it. I'm so excited about the unit. I mean, it could really change the game for van life and, and summer travel. So, um, yeah, we'll see. You know, I might be able to, to spend, um, yeah, it, it's expensive. It is expensive. I mean, <laughs> yeah. Um, but, um, if it makes your vehicle livable in the summer, it might be worth it if you can make that investment, but we'll find out. We'll find out. And that's why they're sending it to me to review. We're going to we're going to go through the entire process together. I'm going to take you guys through the process of literally opening the box, taking out the components to putting it together to using it because I don't want anybody to invest $1,500 unless it's something that I believe in because that's how I've always run my business. If I don't believe in it, I'm not telling you guys about it, period. Hi, hi everybody. So Janice, the 12 volt can also run off of any of my power stations, just to give you a, an idea. Yeah, we'll see. Um, thank you, Gloria. Yeah, full-time in Chandler, okay. Oh, he's in a no bit. Wow, Sarah, yeah, cool. It, it will be a game changer. Um, I've heard it's awesome. We'll see. I'm. I'm as new to the concept of the van life AC unit as you guys are. So we're, we're seriously going to all learn about it together. Um, and what better way? Cause that's fun. <laughs> so, um, so yeah. Oh, well, I don't know if I can, can I show you guys my curse word? coloring book on YouTube. I don't know. I might get in trouble. This is my, this is my other coloring book. It's a motivational coloring book. This one says total crock of shit. <laughs> it's fun. Yeah. You know, I, so I, I had a small evaporative cooler unit that I bought from Amazon. It was a little cute square. It's in my original videos. Um, and I bought, it was like $25 on Amazon back in 2020. And I freaking loved that thing. And it was effective. And then it broke and they're not available for purchase anymore. So that bummed me out. I did. I do think I bit my lip earlier, you guys. Ouchies. So, um, so my curtains are all up and things, uh, for the night. Um, well, 
actually, I think I'm going to put up my front curtain. So, to put up these, like these tapestries that I have, like this one, this is one, this is the first tapestry I ever bought for my van. Which I use it on Winston's playpen a lot to give him shade. This one. I use bind I use binder clips. Which doesn't this don't I have one on this one? No. Or do I or no? Oh yes. Ah. Okay. So these binder clips, if you guys haven't seen my video, the these ones okay so that I use those to hang out my curtains and then I got these little clips from the dollar store so I use those to hang out my curtains the Sun is coming from my front windshield Okay, so now I have that up, so the sun won't blind me in the morning like it did today. Everything's good, everything's fine. Bugs are not a problem. Yeah, I'm I'm near Flagstaff, but I'm not in Flagstaff. Um, so yeah, I'm near Flagstaff. I'm like 20 I'm actually like 25 25 minutes from Flagstaff right now actually. Yeah, so um yeah, the binder clips work out really really well. There we go. So basically this is what I will do um, when I'm in my van in the evenings. Do my things. Work, color, write, watch my shows, hang out with Winston, catch up on, you know, social media news and things like that. I'll give you guys a, um, a, a view of my other side real quick. Um, Eddie, um, Eddie, he's, uh, well, he's like kind of full time because like he lives in his rig, but he also spends time like with his family in, in Texas, like parks his rig there. So I guess technically full time, but yeah, we haven't had a lot of bugs here. Um, thankfully. So this is, well, I moved my, my Jackery because I was charging my phone. I, I just got these new socks too off Amazon. I got a pack of white, gray, and black socks for like, I got eight pairs for like eight dollars. <laughs> so these socks have been awesome. But I think they're dirty. Let's see if a dust cloud came comes off. Oh no, it did earlier. 
Oh, Amanda, filthy. I did shower today, though. So, yeah, I'm, what do you guys think I should, what do you guys think I should do with the back of that thing? What do you, what should I put there, you guys? What do you think? I need ideas. I'm not create, I'm not like artistic enough to paint it, but I want to. <laughs> but I was also thinking, I mean, I could put, um, uh, photos, stickers, um, I was even thinking about, like, I could do, like, the frame my colored cuss words. <gasps> yes. I can color all of my pictures and put them back there. And so I can just look at it and it'll be like, it's a crock of S-H-I-T. Whoa, big brain. Good thinking. <laughs> yeah, economical for eight socks, Gloria, for sure. Um, I've, I'm, I'm all about that. Yeah, contact paper. That would be pretty. Because I have, like, all of my little, you know, like, my little artsy things. I, you know, I'm into all that, all that stuff. These are, you know, these are cards that, this is a Valentine's card that, like, my mom got me. So, you know, I'm into all that special stuff. Look at my sticker that says, shit. <laughs> YouTube's going to get me in trouble. I got to watch it. Oh, a chalkboard would be cool. Oh my God. There's so many good ideas. Uh, focus words and Zen quotes would be cool. Purple shag carpet tape to it. Don't tempt me with a good time. Lisa Frank colors. Okay, girlfriend. I see what you did. <laughs> I'm all here for the Lisa Frank colors. Girl, don't tempt me. Hmm. Or maybe I should find like an, an, an artsy creative person to actually do something for me on it. Kids passed out. And, oh, those are my Triscuits. Oh, boy. So, in any event, you guys are awesome hanging out with me on a Saturday night. Hi, welcome back. Hope you had a good live. I'm having a good live. Oh, I'm trying to switch my camera. Turquoise shag. Woo! That'd be fun, huh? Oh, sorry guys. Um, Winston doesn't wake me up early. No, he does not. Um, he. Um, I wake him up early. <laughs> um. Uh, he is no no he he's never really been one to wake me up um unless he really has to go or like in the middle of the night he'll wake he'll wake up and I'm a light sleeper so I'll wake up if I see that he's awake and if I see that he's sitting there I know that he's thirsty and so that way I can just grab his his bowl and do that but um and give him some water but yeah he's no, he doesn't, he doesn't wake me up early. Oftentimes I'm like, come on, Bubba, let's get up. Let's, time to get out of bed. <laughs> Cause I'm actually a morning person and he is not. So <laughs> no, no complaints here. No kid. Wow. We've been live for an hour and 13 minutes. You guys are awesome. Yeah. He's, he's, he's done. He is done for. So. So, to give you an idea of, um, um, to, so to give you an idea of the rest of the evening, um, what it'll look like, even though I've kind of walked you guys through it. So when I'm done with, with live, I'll basically put my phone away, you know, s sit back and relax and do my thing. Probably put on, you know, one of my shows or a movie. Um, cause it's like nine 30. Um, <laughs> it's getting kind of late. <laughs> 
<laughs> it's getting kind of late. So, so, you know, maybe for like another hour and just hang out and, and relax. I'll turn off my main light here and leave on the other lights, the fairy lights that I showed you. And uh, just, you know, just wind down. Um, oftentimes I will, I, I, I've actually been using, um, let me put this, let me fold this and put this back here real quick. I, I don't think I'm going to need both my fleece blankets tonight because it's going to be like 50. So, <laughs> oh my God. whacked my you guys <laughs> I I'm sorry I hit it with my blanket sorry we're alive <laughs> sorry. Uh, you guys you guys inspire me to have fun you guys inspire me okay what was I talking about yeah no I'm good I'm good <laughs> I just I I went to put my blanket back and my my phone, you know, cuz halfway through the stream my phone started to die so I had to plug it into my Jackery. But my blanket hit the cord, brought my phone and the tripod down with it. No, no, no. We are we are good. But thank you. <laughs> Yeah, we went down. <laughs> we went down. We're good. <laughs> so what I was going to say was um, I've been using this blanket as my pillow. And I've been doing that because I learned that in the colder weather, if I sleep on a surface like this with my head, I stay so much warmer with, you know, my ears and everything. But I, I, I will switch it out for the summer because I have a, like a cooling blanket that I like to use for my summer travels. However, as we've been discussing, I, I have that AC unit that's waiting for me at the house that might change things. So it might change things. So I've, I've essentially, uh, my point is I've been using this really cozy blanket that I found at Goodwill for $8. Yes, I did wash it before I used it. Um, I've been using it as my pillow and it's been glorious. That was the point of my long ass story. So that's where we're at. Also remind me you guys, I have to get toilet paper at the store tomorrow because I forgot today. I forgot TP today, you guys. So. Oh, good morning from oh Switzerland. Okay. How many how many beers have I had? I know it would probably seem like I've had a whole like crap ton with the with my with whatever just happened. Um, so I can't keep up with the I can't keep up with the chat. You guys are awesome. I love the conversation that you guys have. What is in my sock? Ouch. Ow. I got annihilated by a pokey thing in my sock. I wear socks and sandals a lot because I have a thing about going to bed with dirty feet. And socks help me prevent that but I just realized I can take them off and they're super dirty on the bottom which means that I wore them for a good reason because my feet are clean because I showered today so oh. good we're in, we are in good shape 
Yeah. So do you guys do any of you guys find that like if you're in your vans or your rigs, you like go down with the sun and wake up with the sun? Because that's kind of what I do. Like when I started sleeping on the road, I, that pokey thing really hurt my toe. <laughs> Um, I find that when I'm on the road, I'm much more apt to um, go to sleep earlier and wake up earlier. I kind of want to adjust you guys closer to me so we can so we can chat better. What do y'all think? I don't know if you you guys want to see me that close. Yikes! But. Set it on. Well, that I probably should have done that first. Ooh. I have that song by Lizzo about damn time in my head. I don't know. That that's a lot of light on my face, but I can see the. Hold on. Hold on, hold on. I want to be able to see see the chat it's so far. Bye. Have a good night. Yeah. So with your um, yes, you you make a really good point. Naturally, humans are meant to go up and down with the sun, right? So. Um, it makes sense that I'm up. I'm more apt to be up and down with the sun when when I'm traveling and when I'm in my van. Which this seeing this fan just reminded me that I need to charge it. Ooh, I love my scrubs, Gloria. I'd get them to talk about them since you just mentioned it, but they're over there and my table's here now and we're all set up, so I'm not gonna move. But so. I learned about the scrubs. I learned about the scrubs on somebody else's channel. And um, I'm actually going to... Did I lock my van? Did you guys hear me lock my van? No. Okay. I just... I really need some fresh air. It's so nice out. I learned about the scrubs um, rinse-free bath sponges on a different channel. And I'm so glad that I did, but, but I don't remember where I learned about them. I wish I did so I could give them credit. But um, the thing I like about them most is that it I literally feel like I showered after I used them. And I, I like to shave my legs with them. Um, you know, be, being out on the road... And I, I know that ladies and men can all relate. It's easy to get behind on your hygiene. It is. It it just is. Um, when you're in a small space, when you're doing your stuff, it's easy to get behind on your hygiene. And I want to make sure that I'm keeping up with that. And this, those rinse-free bath sponges make it so easy just to do a quick, wipe down you know so um so they've been really awesome and i mean it's like if it's less than 50 cents per per sponge if you will um so so yeah but um well thank you <laughs> thanks for that compliment i guess <laughs> um Yeah, test run everything, of course. It's a process, too, with, with um, van life. You have to learn what works for you and what doesn't. It's all about a process. I mean, I live van life completely differently now than I did two years ago when I started. I mean, I've just learned so much. You learn from experience. You learn from other people. You learn from what you need and what you don't need, you know, Um no, I know, I know what you mean. You're a sweetheart. Um, so, 
you just learn and and you also learn to simplify and I'm such a minimalist you learn you, you just need the essentials like so this Chevy Motorsport shirt I know you guys have seen me wear it a lot because I have seven of them <laughs> I have seven of this shirt because it was free but I learned that I only needed to take two with me I only need to have two with me you know it's like I cutting out the excess makes a huge difference but it's like you don't really know what you're not gonna need until you get out there and you do it so um, there are very few things that I purchased when I first started van life that I'm still using one of them is this seat hanger one of them is this fan I'm I um, these curtains those are a few things that I purchased when I first started van life that I'm still using um, absolutely consistently um, but you even have to learn like um, yeah Tony so the five gallon bucket Tony makes a great point you know the five gallon bucket for doing your business it may work for you it may not I still carry I carry the five gallon bucket because it fits in my rooftop box so the five gallon bucket is nice because I have my collapsible toilet like you guys know in in here um, but I use the five gallon bucket for trash so right now it's sitting out I just whacked my screen it's sitting out there with my trash in it but I also carry the toilet seat that goes on top of the five gallon bucket for like if my mom is camping with me <laughs> so she has a comfortable way to do her business um, so I keep that in my rooftop box um, but that's just it it's it's sometimes it's trial and error it's a process what works for one person does not necessarily work for the other um, it's just finding you know what works best uh, for you as an individual and if you have a pet or if you're you know if you have another person or a child or or uh, somebody with you so um, that's awesome Maya yeah so Janice um, I have my my entire wardrobe okay my entire wardrobe entire wardrobe complete with like a small black dress for events fits in an RV closet that's how few clothes I have I have two pairs of shorts two pairs of leggings one pair of jeans one pair of sweatpants I have probably 10 t-shirts I have maybe I have two dresses, two jackets, five pairs of shoes total, and yeah, that, I think that's it. Yeah, that's it. I am absolutely a minimalist. 100% I'm a minimalist. I started learning about mi minimalism when I got divorced from my husband in 2018, or when I, when I left my husband in 2018, I started learning about minimalism because I felt so trapped in my overabundance of life um, so I learned about minimalism I will never forget when I walked into Target in 2018 and I was so mindful of embracing my minimalism I walked into Target in the little um, dollar section they have like up front with like the one to five dollar items and I was like looking at all this it was like fall right which is like my favorite season and I love looking at all the decorations and all the stuff and at that time oh my gosh <laughs> toilet paper funds thank you so much I need toilet paper easy e thank you so much Mwah. I appreciate ya well, five pairs of shoes. How is that not minimalist? I have tennis shoes, sandals, hiking shoes, boots, and snow boots. I have like one of 
each. You can't like wear flip flops all year round. So, so I walked into the section and I wanted to buy all of these things and I was like, if it can't fit in an RV, you don't need it. Is this going to fit in an RV? If it's not, you don't need it. And my life changed because at that time I wanted to, um, I was trying to simplify my life. I went from living in a 3,000 square foot home with my ex-husband and all these cars and all this crap and feeling trapped in it all to just wanting to expend all of that materialistic uh, feeling and, and I did and I relinquished that weight and when I walked into Target and I said to myself, if this doesn't, if this isn't going to fit in your RV, you don't need it. And I was driving my Honda Fit at the time. I mean, that changed me. And ever since then, I've been practicing and practicing and practicing. I have minimized so much that everything I own is in a small corner of a garage and in my van. And I'm very proud of that. I'm very proud of that. I'm very proud of that. <laughs> so um, thank you. Thank you so much. My mom is actually starting to embrace it. She's finding a lot of freedom and power in, in the ability to simplify your life. Um, yeah, um, she's out there exactly. It's like I had a big house and all this crap and you're just drowning in it and you don't realize like how much money and energy you're spending just on these materialistic items that are taking up all of this brain power and oh, it, I mean, I could do a whole series on minimalism. Maybe I should. <laughs> I just like it. I just... I, I feel like simplicity is, is, there's a lot, there's just a lot to be said for it, especially in such a, we live in such a stressful world, you guys, you know, um, I don't have to tell that to any of you, we all live it, we all live it, it's a stressful world, so, um, yeah, isn't that true, uh, yeah, Tony, thank you, um, for agreeing with me, yeah, um, you know, I, I, I really feel like at this time in my life, you know, at 33 years old, um, I just feel really free because I don't have a, a, a material holding me down. And it's funny because I, I learned about a term the other day from social media. You know, you, there's so much on social media. I learned about this term, uh, the opposite of minimalist, maximalist. And I was like, okay, so what is, what does that mean? Does that mean like you have like a, you know, you're like a billionaire and you have like all this stuff, but that's not what it means. It means that you just, you look to exaggerate everything, you want everything at a maximum, whatever that is, whether it's, you know, whatever that is. I don't really know. I'm not, I don't really know. But I was like, that's, that's interesting. Ma maximalist, max, maximalism. Minimalism, maximalism. <laughs> so I learned that was a thing, and I'm like, okay, I'm too broke for that. <laughs> I'm too broke for to be a maximalist. Good gracious. Yes, Tony, that's a good point. Yeah, and and Tony, I'm I'm embarrassed to say that when my ex-husband and I bought our house in Chandler, Arizona, that our three thousand square foot home. And my mom and my stepdad, my stepdad was still with us, uh, thank God, at the time. They were like, man, it's going to be expensive to heat and cool this place. And I was like, ah! We all know how that worked out. I'm living in a minivan. Doo -doo 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 -doo. So, yeah, that's going to be a no from me on paying that uh, $700 electricity bill. So now, hi, welcome, thank you for tuning in. We've been live for an hour and a half, you guys. Wow, wow, wow. 
You guys spoil me just with your company. It's awesome. Um, what were we just talking about? <laughs> Yeah, yeah, for sure. Yeah, home the um Yeah, lots of lot it, it's so true, Janice. You know, so many people just throw away junk and trash and stuff like that. I mean, uh, you guys have seen it um at my campsite, you know. But uh I've been trying to pick it up, do my part. So and I but Winston and I always do that. You know, oh Oh, Lynette, thank you so much. You guys are so generous. You guys are so generous to me. I literally, like, I don't even know how to handle it, you know? I'm such an, I'm actually, I'm such an introvert. I don't even know how to handle it. it. It took me a lot to go live tonight. I had serious anxiety about it, but you guys have made it so much fun. <laughs> so, um... Janice, I don't even wear a bra. <laughs> I don't even wear a bra. That's how minimalist I am. I'm like, I don't need that. <laughs> oh, boy. Too funny. Thank you so much, Lynette. I really appreciate your super chat. Very, so kind of you. Thank you so much. Um, yeah, so we have lots of exciting things happening coming up. Um, if you were here earlier in the live, I know we've been live for an hour and a half, so lots of people have been jumping in and out. Um, but Winston and I will be uh, in and out of Flagstaff the next six weeks. And then on July 6th, uh, we'll head out to Minnesota. Um, so we can, you know, house sit and be with all of our family for another six weeks as we traverse the Midwest and, excuse me, and South Dakota. Um, Yeah, so so that's that. Um, tomorrow, heck yeah, Janice, that's right. <laughs> I think lots of women are in the same boat for sure. Um, tomorrow, oh, so so next weekend is the Overland Expo, and that's why Eddie's out here. Um, so thank you so much, Lynette. Good night. Thank you again for the super chat. Um, so there's an Overland Expo going on for, for Overlanders. Uh, o Overlanders, if you guys aren't familiar, I'm not really familiar either, so don't get it twisted. But it's like those fancy like Jeep and Tacoma people that like to like have rooftop tents and stuff. You know, like overlanding. I think that's like what it is. Anyways, Eddie's going for the three days. Um, I can't afford that. It was like hundreds of dollars um but i'm going to buy a day pass for saturday so i'm going to check out this overland expo so i'm really hoping to connect with some like outdoor and like van life brands um that might be beneficial for me and the minivan camper and then for you guys to see because i i want to maybe take some videos and some footage to just see what brands are representing and who's offering um, great, reliable products for those of us in the Nomad community. So that'll be fun next weekend. In the meantime, tomorrow I have to go um, get toilet paper. So thank you Easy e for the toilet paper money. <laughs> I forgot to get toilet paper today. So tomorrow I'm going to dump my trash. I'm going to pick up some toilet paper and then um, I think Tuesday I'm going to head back down to the valley um, so um, I can see um, the family and then also get the AC unit. Um, just as a reminder, the AC unit that Zero Breeze sent me is a legitimate air conditioning unit for RVs, vans, and tents. Um, they sent it to me to try out. I'm going to take all of you guys with me on that journey. We're going to unbox it together. We're going to install it together. We are going to review it together. So you guys will be with me um, because that's what we do here. We share all the good info, uh, the good honest info. 
So we'll be doing that this week, and then Winston and I will come back up north on Thursday of next week. Um, so we can then attend the expo and then try and, you know, and get the AC unit up and running. Um, probably do a, you know, Jordan, I think we'll probably do a live unboxing at the house is what I'm thinking. That'll be easiest because the air conditioning unit has lots of components and I don't want to lose anything. So, um, yeah, Michelle, I'm totally, uh, into, into it too. I'm just as excited as you are. I'm really excited to share with you guys um, what it's going to look like and entail. I, I, um, I have to admit, I kind of have high expectations. Um, so we'll see, we'll see, um, about that. So that's kind of the plan for the next week. Um, be sure to, um, subscribe and turn on your notifications, you guys, so you can see me, uh, doing the live unboxing of the AC unit this week. That'll probably be Wednesday. I'm going to shoot for Wednesday. So be sure to turn on your notifications so you know when I go live so we can do that together. And then, yeah, I'll probably come back up Thursday, Expo Saturday, and then from there we'll take it one day at a time. Um, yeah. So, let's check in with Winston. Um, that's my ceiling. That's my ceiling. Awesome, Gloria. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, Janice, that's so true. So Winston's cleaning his toes. This is his nightly routine. And then once he's done cleaning his dirty toes, he'll want to get under the blankies <laughs> and be done for the night. So, you didn't get a notification, Janice? Okay, um, well, make sure your notifications are on. I'm not sure, I'm, I, I, I'm not like a techie pro, you guys. I'm like, I'm, I, I try, I do, I try. Um, I'm not, I'm not the best at all this, all this stuff. No, he can't go to bed with dirty feet. You know, you ain't lying. He cannot go to bed with dirty feet. No, 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 Joni, that's same, same. Okay, we've been live almost two hours. I love you guys. I'm tired. It's almost 10. Oh, it is 10. <laughs> that's why my phone just dimmed. It is 10. I'm going to put on a crime show and go to bed. I love you guys so much. This was a really fun Saturday night. I I hope you guys enjoyed this as much as I did. Um, you guys really made my day. You guys really, really made my day. So thank you. Michelle, thank you. Thank you so much. Um, Jordan moderating. Easy E, thank you so much for the super chat. I really appreciate you. Um, Mimi Meme, Sarah. Hey, Julie, how are ya? Um, thank you for all of the super chats you guys are so generous and kind I can't even begin to um, express my gratitude I really can't I know it sounds cheesy but I yeah I'm just huh, beyond grateful I'm going to sleep well tonight thank you for this incredible life we will be doing this more often I promise um, this Wednesday, plan on it. Tune in with me, guys. We'll do another, like, late afternoon, evening, live to open the AC unit. Um, I'll, I'll give you maybe more specific timing when I kind of know what that schedule's gonna be like. Thank you, Gloria. So, thank you, guys. I love you. Winston loves you. Um, great chatting. I appreciate you all. Um... Good night, Tony. Thank you. Love ya. Thanks for being so loyal. I don't want to go because I love you guys so much, but I'm so tired. So I'm going to go. <laughs> All right. I'll see you guys tomorrow.